I'm just your everyday average guy, the proverbial speck in the universe. In fact, if you've ever tried to wrap your mind around the concept of the universe, then you know that I'm much less than a speck. But for the sake of this, let's just say I'm a speck. I don't want you to think I have low self-esteem. Love this planet, partial to it. I'd vote for it in an online poll. I'd send it a friend request. Try to take care of it too. Have you ever heard the phrase use, reuse, recycle? Well, that may not work in relationships, but it is the way we should view our disposable products, of which about 80% are recyclable. I'm not here to claim to be an expert on the ecology, but I've done some research, and the bottom line is, you have to use common sense to help our environment, but common sense changes with knowledge, so I thought I'd share a few things and zero in on a particular subject that's got the uh, interest of environmentalists lately, and that is, one word, plastics. When we think of plastic products, we may think of the handy things we all know and love, the fun, frivolous ones, but holy angels, what about the more important things? We can't live without rubber bullets, well some of us, and our vehicles are loaded with plastic to keep the prices down and the weight down so that we can be more energy efficient. Then there's the serious stuff, the stuff that keeps us alive. The medical equipment, the scientific inventions. Oh, and more important than that, what about plastic surgery? Especially for all the young, already beautiful women like her. Ah, perfect. All across California, they're having bans on what's called the t-shirt bags, and that's this little item that we all know and love. T-shirt, because of the way it would look if we wore it, it should be called the wife beater bag, though. Actually, if I wore it, somebody would call the cops. But the thing about this is that the science behind it is irrefutable that it is more environmentally sound than paper. Everything from the manufacturing to the transport to recycling uses so much less energy and resources than paper does. And it's an amazing product, very light and uh, durable, reusable, and holds a thousand times its weight. All that. It's a great product. But the problem is people are littering them, and that's what I want to talk about for a second. This is Santa Monica, California. It's so green-minded that it might as well be called the Emerald City. It could be said that when it comes to environmental legislation, this town is the pace setter for the rest of the United States. This is one of the main drags of the city, Main Street. You'll see that as I travel down this sidewalk, there is a recycle bin next to every trash bin. How common is that? Very uncommon, even in Santa Monica. In fact, on most streets of the city, it's really hard to find a recycle bin. Even on 3rd Street Promenade, where it's nothing but pedestrian traffic. Trash cans galore, nothing else. That said, back to the t-shirt bags. Now, these things are made from a byproduct of natural gas, and they should be recycled at the designated bins that are in front of grocery stores. Well, a lot of stores don't have the bins. So towns, especially coastal towns like Santa Monica, make the argument to ban the bags because they say that they don't get recycled. In fact, they get littered and they end up in the ocean. When this happens, the plastics industry gets defensive and they, they fight the bans in court, all the while saying, hey, if you take a look at the science, you'll see that these bags are great. Well, it has nothing to do with littering, so they have very little success and they look bad in the public eye. I think that instead of spending massive amounts of money in court, the plastics industry should subsidize programs, maybe along with the government, that puts a recycle bin next to every garbage bin on every street and every building and every city and town in the country. Every time we throw a plastic bottle in a garbage can, our streets may seem clean, but I assure you, we are littering. When we throw plastic in the garbage, we should at least have to suffer funny looks from people. This is where we want the end of the line to be, at places like New Green Day in Compton, California, where plastics are collected and sorted, sent through machines and shredded. There's all kinds of statistics when you look into this stuff about what you could do with uh, the landfilled plastic, how much energy you could convert it into and how much space it would save in the landfills. It's sort of like saying if you brought back to life all the people who died by accident, there'd be more bus drivers. It, doesn't really make sense. What really matters is what we do with our disposable products from this point on. Mm -hmm.